Hey everybody, Steve Andrews here with CKK Industries coming at you today with another DIY video. Today we are going to teach you how to make a one-piece holster, uh, whether you want to call it a taco or a fold-over, for a light-bearing pistol. So we're going to start with our 8x12 piece of Kydex. We're going to keep it full uh, just so that we get make sure that we got enough room to work with. So we're not going to cut any of it down. We're going to get an idea of how we want to put our foamy clip on there. Uh, this is where you're going to decide your cant, uh, things like that. And then we are going to check. Uh, we're going to have our template. Uh, that template is going to make it so that when we form around it, it lets us know exactly where to put our flush mount clip, and it also uh, causes a recess into the Kydex, uh, which will uh, make it so that those slotted posts do not scratch the gun when it goes in, because they'll be set into the Kydex a bit. So once we decide where we want it, what depth we want, what angle we want, then we'll go ahead and put it on there, and we will tape it to our mold. And we're going to try and get as many wrinkles out of the blue tape as we possibly can. And that's simply to uh, prevent any kind of weird look on the holster. So now we're going to heat up our plastic. Uh, you can do this in a toaster oven. Uh, of course, do not use the oven for food after you've used it. But you could use a toaster oven. You can use a big oven. You can use a t-shirt press, uh, whatever you prefer. Um, the key is you want to get it till it's floppy. Some people use a temp gun, which is fine uh, if you want to do that. If you want to use a laser uh, a temperature thermometer, that works perfectly fine. Um, anywhere usually from 320 to 360, 370 is fine. Some people don't get it quite as hot. Some people get a little bit hotter. Um, the big thing is just make sure that it's good and floppy. That's what you're looking for is a good floppy piece of plastic. All right, so we're going to put our warm Kydex down into our taco press. Make sure that your textured side is out. We are going to then put our molding prop in here, push it down good. And then we're going to take uh, our retention plate here. And this is simply to keep where the, the two ends of the Kydex come together so they're not touching. Because this is going to be an adjustable retention. So uh, we want that little gap there uh, already kind of into place so that we can use that for putting our EPDM washers in. We're going to squeeze everything down nice and snug. And you do, you want these snug uh, because you want to get good definition, but you don't need tons and tons of pressure. And then we're just going to wait. Give it a few minutes for uh, everything to cool off so that the uh, Kydex will hold its shape. And we can take it out of our press. All right, now we're going to go ahead and mark uh, where we want to cut because what we're going to do is we're going to take big chunks of it off uh, with a saw and then as we get closer to the shape that we want then we'll go to the the uh, sander grinder and we'll uh, sand it down to the final fit when we're cutting make sure that you wear all of your proper protective equipment This part of the shaping it and everything that's kind of up to you. Uh, the big thing that you want to make sure of is, of course, that your uh, trigger area is completely covered uh, for safety uh, and that you have access to the pistol to pull it out of the holster uh, without dragging your, your finger, anything like that, uh, on the holster so that if you're doing repetitive uh, draws and uh, reholstering, 
you don't get blisters on your finger where you're pulling it in and out. So we're just making a sweat guard on this one. Uh, if you don't want to make a sweat guard, the line that we put on the holster, we would just cut all the way through the front and the back. Again, it's a matter of personal preference. Some people like sweat guards, some people don't. All right, now we put a molding product back in here, and we're, uh, we've got a rough shape. Again, this is not the final completed holster, but we've got it kind of roughed out where we want it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mark uh, where we want to put our wing. Again, this is a matter of personal preference, uh, but what we've got to be able to do is we've got to be able to cut away some of that plastic so again when we go to grip the pistol uh, to pull it out of the holster, uh, we're not jamming our finger down into that plastic. And remember it's always easier to take a little bit off and then have to come back and correct than it is to take too much off. Then we're just going to go to the grinder and we're going to shape it uh, to the way that we want it. Again, this is a lot of this is personal preference. Uh, so we're just kind of giving you an idea of what you can do and how to do it. Some people prefer to have more holster. Uh, some people prefer to make a minimal holster. Totally up to you. Again, as long as you make a safe holster, you're in good shape.
Then we're just going to take it over to our grinder. Uh, and these aren't grinding wheels. These are uh, polishing wheels. Uh, this particular, particular one is an 800 uh, grit flap wheel. So you use these to uh, smooth out the edges uh, so that you don't get cuts or it doesn't look bad. And you can even polish these all the way to a mirror finish if you want. Not necessary, but some people like to do that. So. All right, so now we've got the shape and everything that we want. We've kind of finished it off a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, get ready to drill our holes. So we are marking uh, where this flush mount goes. It's not actually necessary because there are dimples uh, in, the, in the plastic, which is where we had that template in before. Uh, but we're marking these because it is easier to see in the video. If you're actually drilling these uh, yourself, you'll see those dimples are big enough. You can hit the center of them without even having to mark it. Then we're going to mark our holes where we're going to put our mod wing. And we just take a little piece of HDP. You can put whatever you want in there. You just want something to keep that plastic apart uh, when you drill it. And that's just so that the holes are lined up when you put the EPD in washer.
Now we got our holes, clean those up a little bit, and then uh, we can go ahead and start assembly here. Now some people take one of our countersink bits here uh, and they go in and they just really clean out those holes uh, so that they get uh, a, a uh, inset in there and it's, it looks cool. Um, so it just depends on how much you want to do. Obviously as long as you get any, any stray pieces of plastic that are hanging there out, um, it's not necessary to use the countersink. Again, just a matter of preference, it's sort of like polishing. Some guys like to get all the way to a mirror polish uh, on their holster and some do not. So now we're just putting our mod wing on here. What we've done is we put our EPDM washers inside, we put our slotted post in from the back, and then we're going to drop a couple of eyelets into the mod wing there. Uh, and this is to help prevent the mod wing from moving around too much. And remember, this is the part that's going to give you the retention uh, of the holster. So you can test and get the retention that you want. And then we're going to go ahead and put our slotted post or washers on, and we're going to put our flush mount clip on there. Once you've got everything the way that you want it, then it's a good idea to go ahead and pull it apart, uh, put a little vibratite on there, just so that screws don't don't vibrate out over time, don't work their way out, and that's all we got. <laughs>